all of you today. Um, I don't know how many of you came to the 20 Minutes with God, but we had that this week um, on Wednesday, and we are going to have that for the next several uh, weeks, and so I hope that you can come and participate uh, with that. We have a lot of other announcements, so if Jeffrey, are you finished, or if you could share that? Hello, everybody. Whoa. I think that's new. Um, wow. Nothing like talking in your own ear. Uh, so, uh, no baby, just for those of you guys who are wondering. Uh, she'll come this week at some point. And uh, so we have the whole test tomorrow to make sure we can go until our inducement date. But if, if no baby until Thursday, we'll get induced Thursday and probably have Emerson on Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping for leap year. It's, you know, Friday the 13th leap year, same thing. Right? Um, we have the treasure sale this week. I think they're gonna be sending stuff down the stairs uh, anytime right now. So if you can help out afterwards, uh, they would really appreciate that. We have the Easter egg hunt coming up on March 28th. So if you can donate plastic eggs or wrapped candy, um, that would be very helpful. We had our lock-in this last, uh, well, Friday night into Saturday morning. We had 15 kids and five adults, and we had an amazing time, and I'm recovering still. <laughs> so um, there's also a uh, child abuse prevention walk coming up Thursday, April 23rd at 5.30. And there's a, uh, a meeting on that at 10, uh, March 10th. So if you could talk to Debbie Bremer if you're interested in attending that event and helping uh, plan for that. Uh, 20 Minutes with God, as Bob said, that'll be this Wednesday at noon. If you can make that, there's a couple of hymns and a short sermon series and then a little luncheon after um, with, in, with fellowship. And Good Friday Crosswalk, that's coming up as well, April 10th. It starts here at our church. Uh, there's no Wonderful Wednesday this week because of the treasure sale. And also, if you, they're still taking volunteers to work the treasure sale this week. So um, sign up for that. Come support the, the sale. Got a lot of really amazing things to uh, do with the funds that come through that. And then we have a special announcement uh, about the bishop coming this next week. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone, if you've uh, volunteered to bring either breads or muffins for the bishop's uh, luncheon next uh, Sunday, if you bring those on Saturday during the treasure sale, you can leave those in the parlor. There'll be a, uh, a moving stainless steel cart in there. You can leave those in the cart. Or you can bring them on Sunday morning before the service, which will be at 9 a.m. If you bring them on Sunday, please bring them down to Friendship Hall Kitchen and drop them off there. And we will be having um, a light luncheon um, after the service, so please plan to attend. There'll be sandwiches and salads, and so you can have your lunch and you'll get to meet the bishop. Um, also, um, Jeff had mentioned the Blue Walk. We are having our first planning meeting this uh, Tuesday at the 10th, March 10th, and we will meet in the room behind the um, chapel at 5 p.m. So please, stand, uh, please plan to attend. This will be our ninth walk, if you can believe that. And um, I try to keep the meetings very short, so it'd be like a maximum of about 45 minutes. So if you can help us out, I know you help us out by planning to walk, to walk with us, and that is going to be April 23rd, Thursday. So just save that, that date for us. Thank you. Thank you. As you know, this week is the treasure sale, and so there's a lot going on. If you'd like to volunteer, this week, uh, they would much appreciate it. It's a tremendous blessing to our church as all of you bring things in to sell, and then they sell them, and we use those for um, trustee um, projects to help fund those. And so, thank you for all for your help. Our biblical focus this morning comes from the Old Testament book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3. You shall have no other gods before me. Let us bow our heads and hearts for our choral call to worship.
Thank you, choir. Our liturgy is found in the inside cover of your bulletin. I will read the light print if you will read the dark print. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not yourself image in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not Remember the Sabbath day, keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first command. Our hymn of praise this morning is Stand Up and bless the Lord, page 662. Let's sing it together, 662. Our prayer request, Bob Eldridge is back in the hospital from Military Manor. Please keep in your prayers. Wife Kathy Lloyd Singleton um, for his cancer, also Nancy Vale. Dee Vincent is still recovering from um, hip replacement surgery. Renita Levator um, is doing well at Mellon's Mary Manor. She'll go home soon. Uh, Beth Barnes, uh, please keep her in your prayers. She was at the hospital this week. Tony Adishak. And um, also, let's keep in prayers our visit and, uh, of the bishop next week as he preaches. Now, please remember that there's only one service next Sunday, 9 o'clock. And so we'll have the 9 o'clock service here. It's going to be a beautiful service. Miss Rosemary has all the handbell choirs and choirs and, and uh, what's the instrument people, um, winds of worship, yes, sorry, winds of worship are going to be playing, and so it is just, the praise team's going to be in here, so it'll just be a beautiful service, so please come and participate with that, and as was mentioned earlier, there'll be a time of fellowship and food downstairs in the Friendship Hall, so please keep that in your prayers. 20 minutes with God, um, please keep that in your prayers as we meet at this church here every Wednesday at noon for that plus a meal. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about the coronavirus. And first of all, we need to be in prayer uh, for this all over the world and in our own country. And, and here's the way we need to pray, okay? Um, first of all, that our medical experts will find a vaccine quickly, amen? And then uh, secondly, that uh, the the limiting of its spread will be very limiting, amen? And um, that if it does uh, hit this area in the, the months ahead, that uh, God would be graceful in that regard. Now, uh, some of you might be asked, well, what if it does hit real heavy here? Well, if it does, then we'll deal with that if they close the school and ask churches to you know, close, then we'll do that for that particular period of time. In the meantime, um, I know that we love to handshake. I know we love to give hugs. Um, but perhaps for the next uh, couple months in flu and cold season, we can just give a Christian greeting of hello, may the Lord bless you. Uh, we could also uh, uh, bump elbows uh, and that type of thing. And so, um, so we may want to just uh, change a little bit in that regard. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I know that we're all watching it on the news. And so let's keep also in prayer those that are sick and that have it. And those that have lost loved ones around the world, around that. So some of our leadership in the church are discussing this. We're also going to uh, purchase a lot more sanitizer to place at different places around the, the church. That if you need to wash your hands or something. And obviously those are um, common sense measures um, to just keep, keep your hands clean and Keep them away from your, your face in that regard. What are some other prayer requests that we would like to uh, share with the church family today? Are there others? Okay. Our uh, prayer hymn uh, this morning is the refrain of page 352. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Let's pray together. 
together. Our Heavenly Father, we greet each other with the love of the Lord. We thank you for this glorious day, a day of forgiveness that stretches out like a lake of never-ending grace, a day of promise, of love and action, alive and outstretched, a day of unity, of bending broken relationships, where we build bridges of peace and restoration, a day of celebration, of worship to our living Lord who holds heaven out to us and proclaims life over death. We greet you this Sunday Sabbath with a smile. Today we pray for hope. Hope is a gift from you, Lord. Hope soars upward when all else is failing. Hope rides high on the stormy waves. Hope dances in the darkest places. Hope rings out across the fields of devastation. And hope remains strong amidst crushing burdens. Lord, we pray for Tennessee with the tornadoes, the loss of life and the rebuilding of homes. We pray for those who have the virus, the coronavirus, that you would heal him quickly. Um, we don't know where it's going, but we know that you hold all things in your hand. We pray for protection and healing in the months ahead. Lord, we pray for strength. We know that you give us strength when we are weak. And that strength comes from you. We need strength and wisdom, strength and peace. Strength like a tree that grows its roots deep in you that others do not often see. We need strength and the gentle peace so that just like the sea, we can rise and fall each day and lead others gently onward. We need the strength of steady loves, much like the wind, that can blow and hold our breath with patience and deep kindness. So Lord, be with us today as we talk about priorities. As we talk about having you number one in our life, not the top three, but number one in the priorities of God, family. So Lord, be with us today as we look at the scriptures. We continue our time of prayer as we pray together the Lord's Prayer saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The offertory sentence for today is, Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Please take these tithes and these offerings and use them for your glory. In your name, amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 